I'm Angus Hewlett, founder and CEO of F Expansion, and today I'm going to be talking to you about our new product, the Decam Synth Squad. We've been working on this product for about three and a half years. The first year and a half or so of that was a fundamental R&D, how to do circuit modeling, what kind of circuits we needed to model. We then spent around a year building the actual synthesizer engine into which all the circuit components would fit and getting the synths up and running. And finally, a year of finessing the product, getting great presets made, getting really good user interface and just refining it and polishing it to the high standards that people expect. There are four synthesizers in the pack. There's a lot of technology and user interface shared between them, but they all excel at different things. Strobe is a single oscillator power synth, great for basses, great for leads. It's very straightforward to use and has an extremely fat and rich sound. Amber is modeled after string machines like the ARP Omni and Selena. It's extremely lush sounding, it's great for pads, it's great for keyboard sound, it's great for anything where you're playing polyphonically. Cypher combines the best of analog synthesis and FM synthesis to deliver really biting leads, basses that absolutely cut through, and special effects. Finally, Fuser, which is a combiner, a performance engine, an effects engine, and a very powerful step sequencer that can host all three of the synths together. It features all of the DCAM circuit model effects from BFD2, plus upgraded versions of all the digital effects in Guru, and some unique things we've developed just for DCAM Synth Squad. We decided to release all four instruments together in one pack because they share a lot of workflow and there's a lot of technology and user experience that's the same between the four of them and they all really complement each other. The fact that there's a common technology platform uh, shared between these synths allowed us to spend a great deal more time on prototyping and refinement than many developers are able to do. We studied as many examples as we possibly could of each class of instruments. So for instance for Amber we studied over 10 different vintage string machines to see how they responded musically, how they played, what the different aspects of the sound were. The trick to making a good analog model is to not look at the inputs and outputs of the circuit and try and come up with something which approximates them. Um, you're better off looking at the circuit and modeling each of the components in it. Once you've done that and you've characterized the structure of the circuit, then the inputs and outputs come naturally. So there's the um, schematic. That's the land that I live in in theory, and then when I want to try and find where one of these bits, I want to have a look at it, I have to find it over here so that I can find it on there. This is the LFO driving the chorus module on an ARP Omni. You've got it kind of coming up and bending and then back down again, but there's little pointy bits here. It's exactly these kind of non-symmetric shapes, you see the top half is different to the bottom half, that give analog a lot of its character. With this product, what we set out to do is build not just great synths, but great musical instruments. And I'm proud to say that in Decamp Synth Squad, we've achieved that.